walk. When I transitioned this horse into the hackamore, it was a little different feel than the snaffle bit. Snaffle bit was just a lateral type mechanism that went left and right in his mouth. So it took a few days for me to show him how this would work and how to give and yield to this feel. Because these reins are coming from almost the exact same spot, he's beginning to feel a little leverage on his face that he's never felt before as this hackamore rises up and touches his chin. In a simple way, it's similar to what a curb strap is gonna feel one day when we put a, a curb bit or a leverage type bit on him. But this just allows me to spend some time with my horse and give his mouth oh, a break. Now, if you are interested in the hackamore and that sounds curious to you, you know what I would encourage you to do? Try it. Some people are kind of spooked by it and a little bit afraid. Well, no, I, I, maybe I better not. And it's too, it's almost too mystical. You know, that's for the vaquero tradition or whatever. No, if you're interested in it, you should try it. Get you an entry level hackamore and go out there and play with it. You'll find that if you get to pulling on these hackamores and holding on these hackamores, pretty soon you don't have a hackamore horse. You just got a horse that's running off with you. And so a lot of what I do is subtle little bumps and, and just feeling my horse in here to keep him soft. But if I get to hanging on that, and bracing up against that, he will brace against me. We'll just push those shoulders over. Much of what we did with the older horse yesterday. Got to have that same kind of body control. And in all reality, 